Welcome back, folks, to more Dragon Sphere. Alright, so. We forgot our sword and our shield stone. Your mother's gift is the sword you've been seeking. Apparently, she had it in safe keeping after your father took ill. How like both of them, for your mother to have given you the sword, and your wife the shield? You left the sword, feeling its comforting hat, before attaching it to your belt. As an afterthought, you flip your cloak over the scabbard, since seeing the king armed as if for battle might alarm some people. The shimmering gray sphere feels warm to your touch as you secrete it in your traveler's pouch. Easily accessible for quick use. So yes, thank you, Lirugex1, who uh, kind of reminded me that, uh, yeah, you're going to need those two things. Right, now we can head back toward the Fairy Isles. In fact, we can head to lots of places from here. Sathlan Nipatan High Tower Soptis Ecliptus Brim Fan So anyways, let's head back to Brim Fan for now. Again, the order in which you go to these places isn't necessarily linear. Let's talk. Kind of fairy, not the 2013 fairy, but the old mythical type fairy. The ones that are actually cool. Here comes a fairy dressed in a cape. If he had any more hair, he'd look like an ape. Um, you just sang that to a wedding song. That makes you a real fairy. You look like a little monkey. Alright, so let's be on our best behavior. And a good day to you, my fine fairy. The fair fights back with biting wit. What a shame he's used all of it. I seek the butterfly king. Is this the way to the forest maze? There one comes, Fairy Francis. To get inside, you've missed your chances. Thank you. May your children be a blessing to you. You're the least fun to tease fair one I've ever met. Go on inside. Maybe failing in the forest maze will worsen your temper. Alright, we have some sprites here. Glowing boughs of Tala. Tala have a faint outline of some sort of creature in their center. These are sprites, mischievous little bastards of magic that serve no earthly purpose that anyone has ever been able to tell. something dreadfully wrong. Perhaps you'd like another chance to set things right. Mm. 
My name is Ralph. Ralph? Is it safe for me to cross? It is not safe for you to cross now. Sure looks safe to me. Alright, here we are at the Butterfly King. Standing on a huge mushroom. And uh, who might you be? The fucking game order. I am Kalish, King of the Fair. I didn't ask you who you were. I asked you who you might be. I might be any number of people, I suppose. Not true at all. You are clearly only one person. I am Kalish. I don't know the word Kalish. What does it mean? It means fairies with big wings suck ass. It's my name. So, in your language, Kalish means it's my name. No, no. Kalish itself is a name. What does Kalish mean, then? I don't know. Now I understand. You're very confusing. You think this is confusing? You should try to learn the language of the Saptus Ecliptus. In their language, one word can mean many different things. Sounds like English to me. For instance, in Saptus Ecliptus, the word shush means sand. But put the special broadening sound tra in front of it. Tra shush. And it takes on a greater meaning. Om. Put another tra tra shush. And it means safety. Another tra 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 shush. And it means the will of the people. So you see, their special word tra added to a root word makes bigger and more grand words. That's fucking retarded. But that's very interesting, but I was wondering... I can see that. All right, I have a little quiz for you. I hope you were paying attention. I'm always paying attention with beer in hand. Who might you be? Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? I don't know. If the Saptus Ecliptus word Sohan means woman, what does Tra Sohan mean? Trouble. In your own language, answer this question. What is my name? The Butterfly King. What will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom? My trip balls. I won't like it. Very good. King of the Fair, you understand the very mind passing well, I'd say. Know that I understand the minds of the Fair passing well myself. And I know the quest that is in thy mind and heart. Here, take this gift of power, for it is said that only by the three stones of power can Sanwi truly be defeated. Give it up! This one of the Power Stones whose prophecy is to bring about the construction of the Sorcerer. This one is red, like the flowers in the garden here. Thank you, O King of the Butterflies. And now, I deem it is time for another quiz. Listen carefully and answer properly, for I have little time to waste. Why do fairies tease the fair? They like to test their limits. Which is the greatest race in Grand Kalahak? The fair. 
why must that we be destroyed? Because he ravages and destroys the land. So you are well versed in our lore, King of the Fair. Let us speak longer, for as you know, I am the Butterfly King, ruler of Bren Fan. You have received your gift, but you knew not that it was here before you came. Why did you come then? What in Chow's name is that big toad? This is the Toad Ring. And these are the guardians of our most prized treasure. These days, that treasure is the key crown. It is said that once it belonged to the fair, and that any one of the fair may claim it as his own at any time, if he can get by the toads. I came seeking knowledge that might help me against Sanhui. The fairy legends concerning Sanwi say that his own magic will be the start of his downfall. Somehow, you must use his powers against him before you can even begin to defeat him. I have come to seek your wisdom. What little I have of it, I will share with you. My expertise lies in magic, spells, arcane knowledge, prophecy, there is much prophecy concerning you, O King of the Fair. And what say the oracles? I know that you are ensorcelled. I detect a powerful spell about you, though I know not what it is. Whatever it is, it has affected your memory, for I warrant you don't remember being ensorcelled recently. Indeed, I do not. That is very interesting. Well, thank you, Butterfly King, and may your children be a blessing to you. And thank you, King of the Fair. Here is another gift for you, from my All heart. Right. This figurine was carved from a single limb Getting of an all kinds of cool shiat. Please accept this as my wish for good luck and a safe journey. This butterfly droppings, holy shit, that is a big toad. The Butterfly King lovingly passes you a small, beautifully carved figure of a bird. You toss it behind you, like a turd. Crystal flower, I'm gonna give me some of that. Whoa! Big effing toads right there. The flower comes free from the ground with a soft bing. I hit a crystal stem in the ground. Leads to believe that another will someday grow in its place. Great cow, those are big fucking toads. You've heard of toadstool circles, but this is fucking ridiculous. A lovely golden crown sits atop a small toadstool surrounded by gigantic fucking toads. Ribbit. Looks familiar somehow. You speak the word taught to you by near Tom and feel yourself dragged in four directions. Simultaneously. Alright, beams me back to the marketplace. It'll save a little time instead of having to walk all over Timbuktuing too. Let's head back east. Uh oh. The dragon sphere beckons. Even as Kalash travels through the kingdom on his quest to destroy the sorcerer, the dragon sphere is staring. With each crack in its facade of the sphere, the castle dwellers know that the spell holding Sun Wei within his tower weakens. With each staring of the dragon, they know that Sun Wei comes more awake. Oh, Lakella, the dragon sphere is cracking further. Will he get there before the sorcerer emerges? Call me mother, my dear. 
You are married to my son, after all. It's only right. Very well, um, mother. Are we in danger, do you think? Fear not, child. The sphere has barely begun to break. We have much time yet. I suppose you're right. I'm being ridiculous. That's typical for a female. No offense. Just remain calm, my dear, and leave everything to our I think ears. I have like three female viewers, maybe four. I have more of males posing as females as viewers than actual females. Let's go to the Slathani Patan. Let's also save in case I get killed. Oh, this is a protected my, land. What is your business? My business is to save, son. Easy, big dog. I am the king. Step aside and let me pass. I beg pardon, Majesty. None may enter this land without escort. Even you. Especially you. Then escort me, at my command. We cannot leave this post completely, and we cannot send just one of us. That would be inviting attack. And if a dirty shifter overcame one of us and took his likeness, the other would never know what had happened. Why do you call them dirty shifters? You know the tales, Majesty. If a lone person ventures into Shifter land, the dirty shifters will kill him, take the likeness of the victim, and emerge pretending to be him. If we didn't patrol the borders night and day, they might murder us in our sleep. You'd never know if your wife or best friend was actually a shifter. Then escort me at my command. We cannot leave this post completely, and we cannot send just one of us. That would be inviting attack. And if a dirty shifter overcame one of us and took his likeness, the other would never know what had happened. They are my subjects and deserve respect. Respect? Ha! They're filthy, creepy thieves, and they should all be exterminated. Begging your pardon, but you know it's true. Despite your feelings, I must enter this land. Not without you have a companion, my lord. Is there anything I can give you to let me go in? Anything you want to give us, we'll gladly take. Hmm, interesting. I'm shocked that you would try to offer us a bribe, Majesty. Perhaps it's not the king. Perhaps it's a dirty shifter. A king may grant his subjects boons from time to time. A boon, eh? Fine, then. We'll sell it and split the profits. Thanking your majesty. Of course, we still can't let you in. <laughs> You're supposed to keep it. It was collateral. You keep the item and let me pass. When I come out, say nothing to me. If I ask for it back, you'll know it's me. For while a shifter can take my shape, he cannot take my mind. If I fail to ask for the item, run me through, for I am a shifter. Agreed? Quite wise. Agreed. Best ask for your possessions right off, sire. I'll not stay my hand long. Bitch, shut the fuck up. That shitty voice. No wonder you ain't getting no puss. Now we can continue on our way. After that conversation, I need to save. Around you is the weirdness of Satani Patan. 
It is hard to tell what is natural formation and what is a shifter playing on shapes. Holy shit balls. Perfect. The spell shield was just the right size to trap the monster in the pool without killing it. The sheer off bits of tentacle are rubbery and lined with flat round suckers. As you pick them up, they stick to your hand and come free with a satisfying noise. Someone's having calamari tonight. You're the first normal looking person I've met here. Indeed. You are brave to have come this far. Why did that creature threaten me? When we take up an aspect, we tend to act as that thing. He is there to prevent the unintelligent from bothering me or what I guard. What is it that you guard? Ah, I guard the cave of shifting dreams. It's why many people try to come here. The cave is full of dreams and portents. It can tell you your future if only you can decipher its meaning. Enter if you would. But tell me, do I know you? You look familiar. I am King Kalish. Ah, that explains. I have a gift for thee, King. If only you will answer a question. Why do you and yours persecute us, so? Oh? Your own hatred does not help, you know. I hear your words, O oh King, and realize their wisdom. I name you Shifter Friend and give you this prophecy, though I know not its meaning. The wise men say, in the tower, go down in flames. I also have a gift for thee. The strange object the wise shifter hands you feels warm to your touch and hums with a power not quite magical. You can feel the trigger in your mind to release its power, but unlike any spell stone you've ever used. What is it? Is it a power stone? No, it is what we call a polystone, a bit of shifting for non slathen You'll find that it can, at your command, mimic the look of any item you own. I'm not sure what it's good for, but perhaps you'll find a use for it on your quest. Before you leave our land, O King, you must discover what portents await you in the Cave of Shifting Dreams. Good luck. We enter the Cave of Shifting Dreams. Backstab, time is for damage. Good catch. Let's play hacky sack. That was interesting. We got some polystone figurine and a doll from within the cave. This appeared in the cave after my vision. Can you tell me anything about it? How wonderful! It is not often that the cave gives up things to carry away. I've seen things like it. We shifters sometimes use toys like that to help focus our powers. But I have no idea of its significance. 
I'd like to talk more with you, if I may. I doubt there's any more I can do for you. I would like to know about the other races. Which other race would you like to know more about? What do you know of fairies? Ah, uh, I know many things. I know that they are an old race, but most fairies are young. They act gay and flighty, but they are mostly very intelligent when with their own kind. I know that the older a fairy gets, the wiser and more esteemed he is. The oldest living fairy is the Butterfly King. Someday he will die, and then he will join the Elder One. Of the Elder Ones I know not, save that they are a fairy tale concerning what happens to a fairy when they die. I would like to know about the other races. What do you know of Soptus Ecliptus? Ah, I know many things. I know that they are a mysterious race whose ties to this world seem tenuous. Their shaman travel what they call the spirit plane, meeting ghosts and ifrit and learning wisdom from them. I know the words for sun, moon, and stars in their language, these being Ashab, Fala, and Ecliptus. An astronomer in their language is called a vincio shabphalacliptus, which means one who seeks the sun, moon, and stars. Words in their language can mean other things. Shab can also mean light, north, and death. Fala can also mean dark, south, and life. And ecliptus can also mean navigation, west, and the universe. Strange, no? I would like to know about the other races. What do you know of the Birdmen? Ah, I know many things. I know that they are a legendary race, living in the high places of the High Tower Mountains, ah! where Sanway holds sway. I know that they are called Shack. I know that legends say that once upon a time, the Shack could not fly. A god brought them a gift, and their children grew up with the power to fly. Over the generations, they came to look more and more like birds. I know not if they truly exist, but if you travel to Hightower, watch for signs. They are said to respond only to the calls of their own kind. I would like to know about the other races. What can you tell me of my own race, the fair? Ah, I know many things. The great gift of the fair is the gift of children, with which you are more blessed than any other race. This has allowed your kind to spread in the face of all opposition. Beware. The prophecies say that in the future, the fair will be so numerous that they will war among themselves, and a man named Blair will make an unholy alliance with evil to bring dis- But for now, your quest concerns the sorcerer and his ravages upon your lives and livestock, right? I thank you for your help. It was nothing. King of the Fair. Unfortunately, you can't invoke the power of the signet ring. I don't think the Loch Ness Monster will be fucking with us. Inventory is extremely similar to Rex Nebular, as in identical.
It's me. Give me back the item I gave you. It's him. It worked. Here you are, your majesty. Farewell. All right, we got our goblet back. Uh-oh. It's splitting more. Why is he taking so long? Bitch, hold your horses, man. A magical quest is not quickly accomplished, my dear. You tell her, mama. Do you... Do you think, honestly, that he has a chance to succeed? Wow, really? Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, my dear, frankly, I do not. Oh, my God. Oh, Cal. WTF. Now, now, don't weep. Perhaps everything will work out for the best. Especially if two bitches stop complaining. I'm not naming any names, but I'm just saying. That dragon's fear sure is getting active. Let us head to Subdesiclitus. Go, head there. Alright, I like the little traveling dots. It's cool. Oh shit, the desert? I fucking hate deserts. Especially when the game looks like King's Quest. Remember the desert in King's Quest V? Graham did not like that desert at all. Sure, just go ahead and walk me into the desert. I don't want to control you. Hope you brought your canteen. I hope you have a bottle of Zephyr Hills water on you. The desert is so wide and the sun is so hot. Just when you think you surely perish here in the dry sands and you curse the softness who sent you here, you spy a small lean to in the distance. A friend! Any man can cross the great desert if he has friends. The lane too looks small and rude and partially buried beneath the sand, but you can see someone moving about near it, and he doesn't seem to be armed or particularly dangerous looking. We'll talk to this man of the desert in the next video, folks. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching Dragon Sphere.